Hello students, let's continue our journey through. Comparing quantities. Let's enter into a new topic that is, taxes. First, we need to know, what is tax? And why do we need to pay taxes? The government provides essential facilities, like hospitals, education institutes, roads, public transportation, etc., for the citizens. For the construction and maintenance of these facilities, government needs money. We citizens indirectly pay money to the government for these purposes. Through taxes like sales tax, VAT, and GST. Now let us check, how is it possible? Whenever we buy a laptop, we are charged more than the actual price. This is because the shop has charged tax on the laptop. If we look closely at our bill, we can see sales tax added to the item. Do you know what is sales tax? A sales tax is a tax charged by the government on the sale of an item. Let's do an example. The cost of a pair of shoes was 400 rupees. The sales tax charged was 5%. Find the bill amount. Cost of shoe equals 400 rupees. Sales tax rate equals 5%. We have to find the bill amount. 5% sales tax means on 100 rupees the tax paid equals 5 rupees. Therefore, on 400 rupees the tax paid equals 400 rupees multiplied by 5 divided by 100 equals 20 rupees. Bill amount equals cost of shoe plus sales tax equals 400 rupees plus 20 rupees equals 420 rupees. Let's look into another topic, VAT, which stands for value added tax. Let's do an example. Ram bought furniture for 3,300 rupees, including VAT at 10%. Find the original price of the furniture. We have cost of the furniture equals 3,300 rupees. VAT rate equals 10%. We have to find the original price. Let's assume original price equals X rupees. That equals 10% of X equals 10 divided by 100 multiplied by X equals X divided by 10. Price including that equals X plus X divided by 10 equals 3300 rupees that is 10x plus x the whole divided by 10 equals 3300 11x divided by 10 equals 3300 11x equals 33000 x equals 33,000, divided by 11. x equals 3,000. Therefore, original price of furniture equals 3,000 rupees. Our next topic is GST. We all are familiar with the word, right? GST stands for Goods and Service Tax. Let us see an example of GST. Rena bought an article for 784 rupees, which included GST of 12%. What is the price of the article before GST was added? Let the original price of the article be rupees 100. We have a GST percentage equal 12%. So the GSTN amount is rupees 100 multiplied by 12 by 100, 
equals rupees 12. Then the price including GST. Or the bill amount is rupees 100 plus rupees 12 equals rupees 112. That is, for the bill amount of 112 rupees, the original price is rupees 100. Then for the bill amount of 1 rupee, the original price is 100 divided by 112 multiplied by 1. 100 divided by 112. Here the bill amount is rupees 784. So the original price is 100 divided by 112 multiplied by 784 equals 700. Therefore, the price of the article before GST was added is 700 rupees. Let's conclude. Today we discussed the calculation of sales tax, VAT, and GST. Before winding up, let's check how much you understood by doing an activity. Tina purchased a hairdryer for 4,000 rupees, including 5% VAT. Find the price before VAT was added. That's all for now, see you all in the next class, with another interesting topic.